Two of the things that players most often have problems with is getting past their defender and then also being able to react to the help defense. This keeps them from being able to beat their man, of course, and score more points around the rim. Today, I'm going to give you some simple tips, moves, and drills to help make this so it's not an issue for you anymore so you can start scoring in the paint. And be sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to have a sick way for you to take all this stuff next level and add a bunch of variations to this sequence I'm going to give you. If you want to make the most of these moves and put them on turbo, grab the free workout that I'll pin to the top comments. That'll help you take your ball control and athleticism to the next level at the same time. It's 100% free, so you might as well grab it. Coach Jesse Mitch with Get Handles Basketball, where we train harder and smarter so you can play like the pros. If that's something you're looking to do, subscribe and click that bell icon to catch the newest videos. So the first problem usually with beating a defender is a lot of players, they're not able to be explosive with that first dribble or they just over dribble in general. This will help eliminate both of those habits. All these tips I'm gonna give you are throughout the sequence of doing it as a drill, but also moves you can use in a game. The other big problem a lot of times when a player starts to get past the defenders, they'll come out really wide here. That's a big problem because that way my defender they can slide back in front of me and cut me off. So that old school zigzag drill mentality isn't necessarily so good to do in live game situations. There's times and places where it has a purpose, but typically if you're trying to get past your defender, you wanna get a little tighter to them and then try to come back in front of them. Now they don't have a way to cut me off anymore, right? I've beat them. What we're gonna do with this is start with a between the legs. We wanna focus on just taking one dribble before that and then going right into it so we're being efficient with our dribbles. The second the basketball comes into his hand, I wanna drive this leg forward quickly. So I'm working on covering ground and being efficient and effective with that first step and coming in a straight line to this next cone. So I'm also sealing this first defender off. Once I get to this next cone, we're gonna go into a crossover. So that way we're working on sealing one defender off and starting to deal with a help defender. Once we get to this cone, we're gonna dribble and take a jab step to take this guy out, move him off this line, and then take our one, two steps in for the layup. So all together, it's gonna look something like this. We're gonna start with one dribble between the legs, crossover, step, one, two, get your layup. I recommend doing that about 10, 15 times, 20 times until you feel like you've got it down solid and still continue to rep it out to work on being quicker and more efficient with it. And then we would do it the other way. I'll show you a little more full speed this way. Okay. <laughs> 10 to 15 times repping that out is a great start, but you can't just rely on those simple moves, right? You gotta have different ways of beating defenders. So this next version is gonna help you a ton with that. Click that like button if the moves, tips, and drills helping you so far, and leave a comment, say this helps. So the next move we'll wanna work on is a great move for just shifting your defender out of your way and getting past them quickly, and it's the inside out dribble. So whichever hand's dribbling, we wanna make sure we step out with that opposite foot. Hand comes from the outside of the basketball over the top. Boom, straight line to this next defender. Good little herky-jerky thing you can do from there is do another inside out. So you can fake two defenders out with that same move. So we're going to come here, here. From here we're going to cross over to come across the court past this defender to try to beat our man to the basket. One, two, get our layup. So all together this one's going to look something like this. Boom, boom, boom. Coming up for that layup. And then of course, we would come to the top, repeat on the other side, this time right hand dribbling, left foot selling those jab steps, boom, 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 get that layup. And if you notice, I ended up jumping off the wrong foot on that layup. That's completely okay. Whatever gets you to the basket quickest. As long as you got your fundamental correct one, two steps down, you could do it that way consistently. When you've mastered that, go ahead and work on jumping off goofy footed layups. Because oftentimes in game situations, if I get in here and I have to slow down to take the proper one, two steps, that's giving my defender time to get back in front of me. So if the quickest way there is to go goofy footed, that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna advance things a little bit. We're gonna go regular dribble and wrap it behind the back to get past this first defender. When we get here, we wanna drop down into sort of like a hesitation protection between the legs. 
So here, from there, we're gonna explode out of that towards this cone. We wanna sell a hard fake with this right step towards this side to fake the defender out. Take a left step to Euro step around and come in for your layup. So let's take a look at that one. Coming back up to the top and the other way. So here's how you can take everything next level. This YouTube video is gonna give you some different crossovers you can add into the mix at these top two cones. This video is gonna give you some different finishes you can do at that bottom cone so you can keep changing this up, working on new things and adding them to your game. Click that like button, the subscribe button, and that bell icon to catch the newest videos, and I'll see you in one of these two videos next.